Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Artie Valencia, and I'm a first year transfer student. I'm a communications major, like many of us in this class. Uh, I've taken this class, and I've learned so many, uh, so many things already in disabilities, and it's helped me change a lot in my perspective and the way I view things and the way I view life. Go ahead and hand it off to David and talk a little bit about himself. Good afternoon. Um, my name is David Hoffman. I am Canadian by birth, um, so I will defend all well-known Canadians when possible. Um, I grew up with. Uh, I grew up with. Uh, I'm. I, oh, sorry. I was saying I'm. I'm Canadian by birth. I came to California 18 years ago. Um, I grew up with vision in one eye. I had a rare form of eye cancer that um, took the vision in my left eye. And until 42 years old, I, um, with corrected vision, I had the ability to drive and uh, perform just normal. I had normal sight. Uh, and over um, a 10-day 10, 10 period, at, uh, eight years ago, um, I had a stroke and lost uh, most of the vision in my right eye. So I come to uh, being disabled um, very quickly and much later in life, which results in a very different experience. Uh, and I'm very much uh, appreciative of what others on this panel and people I've come across have gone through. I have uh, an undergraduate degree and an MBA from before I lost my vision and I am currently in my final semester as a Master's of Social Work student here at San Jose State University. Uh, when I lost my vision, I, uh, my life was um, changed pretty much overnight and was pretty despondent and didn't think that I would be able to do anything. Of course, meeting um, people such as those on the panel and a lot of other people in my travels, I've discovered that uh, it's more of the mindset and what you, what you desire to do rather than um, what the disability or what society says you can or can't do. Uh, I'm graduating this May and I have hopes to work with uh, transition youth, uh, perhaps blind transition youth or people with disabilities in general, um, depending, on, uh, depending on where I end up. I'm really open. I just want to use my life experiences both before and after um, losing my vision to help others as I was helped. Thank you. So I have a couple questions for you, David. Uh, the first question is regarding your disability. What are the advantages you might say about your disability? Um, well, being able to attend uh, days like today and meeting other people who have had um, bumps in the road that they've overcome. It puts things in perspective for all of us, I'm sure. Um, I don't know if you can still see the seeing eye dog that sits under the table, but um, that is one of the major advantages of having lost my vision. Uh, my dog is my very best friend and my companion, as well as being a great worker. Um, dogs are the best people I know. Um, advantages, I would say, is that I always knew growing up that having vision only in one eye that eventually I would go blind. I just did not expect it to happen at 42 and um, so the advantage of having it happen now is that I have the opportunity to switch careers. When being in social work, I worked for 23 years in business. I had nothing to do with social work and so one of the advantages is having uh, the career change and now the ability to to learn about myself and to try to offer offer whatever I can from my experience to 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 help others. Really. 
What advice would you give to a person struggling with their disability? Don't give up. Um, there's advantages that, uh, sorry, there are certainly uh, disadvantages that come about with every disability. And as the two young people before me who I've spoken have said, that, you know, they've come through a lot, a lot more than I have. And your ability to advocate for yourself, and if you're fortunate enough to have family and friends and loved ones who are there to help advocate for you, all the better. But my primary advice is uh, there's always somebody who's going to have more challenges than you. So even though it's easy, it would have been easy for me to give up. I know lots of visually impaired people who have given up and haven't accomplished anything. And not that their choice was wrong, it was right for them. But my advice is advocate, work hard, and the more people that you educate about how to interact with you, which Stephanie talked about, and that someone who is on the spectrum is as capable as anyone else. Uh, they go and they tell two friends and they tell two friends and that's part of what our job is as my view is, as a disabled person is that you know go out and educate and show people what you can do. Don't fit their mold of what you can't. Well, I appreciate your time David, thank you.